Hello and welcome back. Uh, we are going to continue with our instruction about PowerPoint. Before we start, we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to tell you what we're going to be doing today. I am going to go back and create a new PowerPoint presentation and then we're going to do a few things that we sort of did last time but it's going to help us to review and to really master the things that we're learning about PowerPoint. We're going to be creating a presentation and the thing is that I am going to show you how, what are the elements that we need to always have present and we are going to actually put them into the presentation. Okay, so let's go into PowerPoint. Okay, so now that we're here in PowerPoint, we know uh, this has no presentation open. So I'm going to click on File and I'm going to go and click on New and I am going to get a blank presentation. Okay, now here is the thing. You may think if we have so many different nice formats for a presentation, why would I want to have a blank presentation to begin with? Well, the idea is that the most important part in a PowerPoint presentation is going to be the content, okay? So before I start dressing up my presentation and making it look cool and pretty and sassy, the first thing that I am going to do is to make sure that the content is where it needs to be, okay? So I am usually that the kind of person that will start with a blank presentation. Once you are a little bit more knowledgeable, then you may have a particular uh, layout, a particular theme that you love and then you can always go back and use that one. The good thing about having a blank one, a blank presentation, is that it really lets you see how everything lays down. So there is no things that get hidden or obscured because of the different uh, uh, topics that you may pick for your presentation. Okay, so let's go back in here. So now we are here in PowerPoint and the first thing is that uh, I want to remind you in here that up here we have the ribbon, okay? And first we started with file and then we have all of these things that we're going to learn how to use. We may not be all proficient in everything that is within the ribbon, but definitely we will learn about, you know, a lot about it. So now in here, the first thing, the first person, the first thing that we have in here is going to be the title. Okay, now there is one thing that I want to show you that I actually like to do and, the, the, and for that I am going to make this a little bigger so that to illustrate my point. Okay, and the first thing that I am going to do is that I am going to go into view and allow me to get closer and I'm going to click into view in the view ribbon. Okay, now I'm going to go back out and within the views I am going to pick the outline view which is the second one. Okay, now the outline is going to make this area look like a real outline. So, because I don't know what this presentation is about, I'm just going to type title. Okay, now notice that whenever I write something in here, in the outline, it gets into the slide. Now, look at this. I tell you that the second thing that you need to, to do is to talk about my, yourself. So, I just clicked enter and automatically it knows that the second slide is not going to be a title but it gives me a title of something to talk about and some points to make. So in this one I am going to say that it's going to talk about me in this case, about yourself. Okay? I'm just naming it like that to make a point of how easy it is to get that presentation going if you use the outline view. Then after that I am going to put here slide one slide two, slide three. Now we're assuming that these slides are um, for content, okay? Once I'm done with my content, I am going to have a conclusion, okay? And then probably I'm going to ask if they have any questions, okay? Now in here, as you can see, it just looks like, well, I have a bunch of titles, right? But that is actually quite helpful. This, the development of this outline is exactly the same thing that you would do if you were developing an outline to write an essay or something, you know, for another, for an English class per se. You have your outlines of the main points that you want to make and then you may have some sub points in here. Now you saw that I went to the outline and I, I went to the beginning, right, to type the title of that particular slide and clicked enter. When I clicked enter, I went to the next slide. But what if I wanted to make certain points in a particular slide? 
Okay, let's go back and see how that will look. So if we're here, for example, let's say I am in slide one, so I'm gonna place my cursor right after where it says slide one. And what I am going to do is that I'm gonna press enter. And if you see, it's like, oh, yet another slide. But if I just press the tab, it will say that I have the point one and point two. And if I wanna go even further, you know, in another, in a different bullet size, I can do enter and then another tab, and then I can place um, another tab, for example, okay? So I, as you can see, I can start building more uh, clear points, more uh, focus points on each one of my slides. Let's say my slide one has that, my slide two, again, we do enter, don't panic when the slide appears, just press tab and put one, then two, and then three, and you have the points, okay? Now, from my perspective, I think that this is the best way to get an idea of how your uh, presentation is gonna flow, because you're gonna go back and look at that outline and look at the titles for each one of the slides and look at the points that you're making. Now, one very important thing that I want you to keep in mind here is that we are not writing a book and we are not writing an essay into our presentation. What we are doing is that we're making points. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna keep your bullets to a maximum of seven, okay? Five is ideal. Now, each one of the bullets, each one of the things that you're mentioning, we're gonna try to keep it also to seven or less, okay? So you don't clog that presentation with a bunch of stuff, okay? If you have it like that, then it's gonna be much easier for your audience to read. Remember, when you put the presentation up there, your audience is gonna be reading the presentation first, and then once they are done, they are gonna be paying attention to you. If you put half a page, like 200 words in that, in that slide, people are gonna be paying attention to that instead of listening to you. And that's not the idea that you wanna convey, okay? So let's go back into PowerPoint. So once we're here then, there is, uh, you have your points that you have in here, and those points are the ones that you actually wanna make. You wanna say, oh, well, I'm talking about slide two and point one, and you look at the, the word one, and you're gonna elaborate about that one. You look at this one, and you elaborate at that one, and, and so on, okay? But now, let's say you had much more to say about this, but um, there is no room, and you don't wanna put a bunch of stuff in here. So for that, here at the bottom, you have the notes, okay? So in here, you can click to actually add notes. Now in here, I can put notes for my presentation. Okay, now here is the deal with that. When you add the notes, you may be presenting, but the notes are not gonna appear in the screen. So people that are watching your presentation are not gonna look at those notes. You can have access when you have the presenter view in your computer. So you can see the notes and the other people cannot see them. Okay, it's a, it's a different view in there. However, there is a problem with that. If you make those notes lengthy, you're gonna tend to actually be reading the notes, and that is gonna be like, again, remember at the very beginning where I told you, well, if you have the cards and you're just reading from the cards, well, it will be the same thing if you are actually reading from the notes, even though they are in the screen. You may not have them in here, but you have them in, you know, in front of you. So a word of warning, practice your presentation. Practice it in a way that you don't need to read, that you have an idea of what you're gonna be saying, and more than anything, that you have an idea of what slide comes after, okay? So you know that you're covering topic one or slide one, and you know that after that comes slide two, talking about topic number two, okay? So you wanna know that in advance so that you don't mess it up, okay? Let's go back into PowerPoint. So now that we're in here, we have our slides and they are all in an outline format, okay? So we have added some bullets and everything and we have looked at notes. So now you are very good at it, right? So I'm gonna go back and click normal. Once I click normal, you know, in, into the left side, I actually have slides and I have an idea of how they look like, right? But now let's say that I have these slides over here but now this particular slide, slide three, I don't wanna show it, 
Okay, but however, let's say that the information that I have in here is quite important, okay? So before I go into how to hide a slide, I wanna show you that these slides, I actually filled up while I was in an outline view. Now this one, I can just go here and click in here and I can put here important information must be hidden. Okay, so I'm gonna hide this this particular slide. It is important, but I'm gonna hide it for now because I am not sure if my boss wants uh, you know, other people to know about this. So what I can do is that I'm gonna go into my slide and I'm gonna right click on the slide and I'm gonna click right in here and the slide is hidden. As you can see, you can still see the slide. The slide is right there, but let me just get a little closer in here and you're gonna see this symbol right here by the slide there is a mark that shows you that the slide is hidden so what this means is that whenever you're going to be showing your presentation whenever you see the presentation that slide is not going to show up you will go from this slide to this one but you are never going to show that one however you get to keep it okay so that is a very important thing that you gotta know how to do okay so now we have Pre, you know, prepared our presentation, you know, with using the outline view, okay? We have put some bullets in some of them, and, you know, last but not least, we have actually hidden a particular slide. Now, let's say that we have the slides all in there, but we are not convinced about the order in which the slides are set. For that, the best thing to do is to use the slide sorter. So let's go and use that one now. So again, you know, I am still in the view, in the view ribbon, and I am going to do the slide sorter, which is the third one. When I get it in here, now you can see that I can see all the slides in there. Now, there is one really cool feature, and that is that I can make these slides smaller or larger really quick. And for that, we're gonna go to the bottom right part of the page, and allow me to do this. And you see that at the very bottom, you have this little slider that will allow you to say how zoomed you want this to look. You want the slides to be smaller or you want them to be bigger. Okay, so I'm going to make them smaller and I am going to zoom out. Okay, and look at that. Now that you know where the sorter is found, look at that. I can make them grow or I can make them smaller. Sometimes this is quite useful because if they are smaller, then you can actually... Uh, sort more and see them all at once. You know, it's gonna be a faster thing to do. Now, in here, right here at the bottom, and I am going to actually get closer as well, here at the bottom, you have the different views. This is the normal view, this is the slide sorter, and you have the reading view, that's the third one. If I click on the reading view, I will be able to see the PowerPoint presentation all at once. So let's click on it, and now, I am going to see my slides going on. You see, if I click, I get to see the slides as if they were in the PowerPoint, as if I were, were making the presentation. Now I'm going backwards. So I have an idea of what's in here. But look at this. When I go through them, slide three is not there. You notice that? Because it's hidden. Oops, it's there. Oops, hold on a second. In the reading part, it's there. Let's try the show. The show should not have that PowerPoint. So here we go. You see, there was no slide three. So the reading view actually shows it, but your slideshow doesn't, okay? Well, with this then, we have covered the way to build a quick presentation without any particular theme. We are just having a, a white presentation, a blank presentation that we dress with really good information regardless of, uh, you know, bells and whistles. Next time, we're gonna learn a little bit more about this and start putting a few bells and whistles into our presentations. Thank you and I'll see you around.